The ABC 7 News I team has uncovered a new complaint of excessive force used by Vallejo police. This incident caught on camera. And keep in mind, the department is already reeling after a violent year, including six people shot and killed by officers. Dan Noyce is here now with an exclusive I team investigation. Well, Carolyn and Dan, the story began when a package arrived in the mail from someone inside the department. A DVD, a police report, and a letter complaining about a cowboy attitude by officers and command staff. Imagine you're a police officer on patrol. It's a warm summer day when the call comes in. A 22-year-old complaining his roommates beat him up and kicked him out of the apartment. Yeah, are you injured? Oh, uh, yeah. They punched me in my face. They choked me out, ripped my clothes, tried to steal thousands of dollars worth of my stuff. It's all out in front of the house. The victim is upset how long you took to arrive. Okay. And you guys took 45 minutes to get out here. Okay. Uh, listen to me. First of all, I'm not on your time watch. I know. Second of all, second of all, second of all, second of all, U.S. soldier, bro. Are you know who you're are, talking are, are, to? Okay. Are you, know who are you're are talking you to? Face? Are you getting in my face? You step forward to me. Okay. I did not step forward to, to, you. to you. At this point, what would you do? A. Try to defuse the situation, perhaps explain why it took 45 minutes to arrive. B. Direct the victim to step back, have a seat on the curb, and assure him you're there to help. Or C. Smack him in the head. I know who I'm talking to, and you're down. You understand that? So you're talking to a United States Marine. You understand that? You're a U.S. soldier. Okay, you're talking to a Marine. So I suggest that you never step up and get in my face again when I'm talking to you. Do you understand me? I tracked down the victim on the video, Blake Robles. And seeing this now brings back the anger and frustration that I felt that day when the people that were there that were supposed to come to help me were there to attack me. He had never seen the video before, and it brought back a flood of emotion. Let's start over. The act can stop. Robles says when he was on the ground, the two officers pressed their knees into his chest. And that he blacked out briefly. Would you like to start over, or do I need to, do I need to further introduce myself? I'm completely done. I'm completely done. I don't need to further introduce myself? Okay. The officers accused Robles of faking it. What was all that? Moaning and stuff you did on the ground. Was that because my knee was in your center of your chest and you were having a hard time? What was that moaning, you son of a b That was me not being able to breathe! Whether you're in a bad mood, whether you're angry, whether they feel you're being disrespectful, it doesn't matter. They are there to protect and to serve us. And that day I was not protected, I was not served, and I've never felt safe from the police department since then. The incident was captured by what's called a V-View camera, clipped to the shirt of Officer Steve Darden, a 17-year veteran of the Vallejo PD, seen in this YouTube video. You want to know what happened? I do. Okay, I'm going to tell you what happened. But Darden does not want to talk about this case. By email, he refused my request for an interview. Darden's best known outside the department for his rap music, after he recorded a tribute to Vallejo officer James Caput, who was killed by a suspected bank robber in 2011. Jim Caput, Bash 497, we know you up in heaven. And Chief Joe Crines declined to be interviewed when I caught him outside police headquarters. He told me he wasn't chief at the time of the incident. He arrived last September from Novato. But this package arrived here at ABC7 just last month, sent by someone inside the Vallejo PD who's concerned about conditions there right now. Along with the DVD and police report, the source wrote a letter describing a pervasive cowboy attitude in the department. The source described what happened to Blake Robles and wrote, Criminal behavior is being allowed and nothing is being done to stop it. Internal affairs does nothing to hold officers accountable and spends more time bullying citizens who try to file complaints. The source also wrote that the shift supervisor played the video in briefing and laughed about it. Did that happen? I don't believe that happened. I believe that's completely inaccurate. But, you know, this is this is a year and a half ago. I wasn't there for every step of this. Lieutenant Lee Horton oversees the Vallejo Police Professional Standards Division. He refused to comment directly on the video or to say what, if any, discipline Officer Darden received for the incident. By law, I'm, I can't discuss the man's personnel file or his disposition of discipline or anything like that with you. You're asking me and you're asking the public to trust you that you handled this properly. I'm not sure there's a lot of trust here. So I just need to know, I'll give you one last shot. Was his behavior, that officer's behavior on that video appropriate? Well, I can answer the question for you this way. If I'm telling you that we conducted an internal affairs investigation, there was a disposition with the officer, 
That's the answer to your question. Horton also would not discuss Darden's version of events he wrote in the official police report. I conducted a front reap throw, exerted forward force with my right palm into the upper portion of his chest while sweeping his legs in the opposite direction. But he didn't hit Robles in the chest as he wrote. You can clearly see Darden's gloved right hand strike the left side of Robles' head, knocking him to the ground. Police officers know that if you don't take control of a situation pretty early on, it can easily escalate. The head of San Francisco State's criminal justice program says Darden's use of force falls within general police guidelines, but agrees he let the confrontation turn personal very quickly. You're talking to a United States Marine. Perhaps he stood at a little bit more of a distance at first and tried to use some positioning verbal commands, please sit on the curb or something like that, and then see where it went from there. Blake Robles went to the hospital after the incident. He says his ribs were sore for weeks, but he never considered suing the police. I don't want money. I want a solution. I want the people of Vallejo to be safe. And they're not safe right now because when officers like this are coming out to calls and they're treating victims of cases like this, no one is safe. Using the Public Records Act, I asked Vallejo police for all V-View recordings in which Officer Darden had any physical contact with the public in the past three years. The department denied my request, saying all the videos are part of Darden's personnel file. But I'm appealing this with the Vallejo PD lawyers, and I'll tell you how it turns out. And if you want to check it out, I'm posting that full police video in this case, along with a letter from the source at abc7news.com.